Beyond Order, Part 2, Chapter 7, that work as hard as you possibly can on at least one thing and see what happens. Uplifting and encouraging. Makes you want to take aim, uh, set a goal, accomplish something, take action. Rule number eight, try to make one room in your home as beautiful as possible. I've heard this one before. It was nice to read it again in the book, and I've definitely taken this advice to heart. Chapter 9. If old memories still upset you, write them down carefully and completely. It's easier if I read you a couple of quotes from this chapter because it does it better than I can say in my own words. Here's one. We must recollect ourselves or suffer in direct proportion to our ignorance and avoidance. Also in this chapter, he says it's our destiny to transform chaos into order. I want to share a quick personal story. One of the things I realized I enjoyed doing and just learned to do in the last few years is knitting. And then I heard Jordan Peterson talk about taking chaos and creating order. And I realized that knitting kind of does that. In other words, it's my way of taking this crazy ball of yarn and making it an orderly scarf, hat, mittens, whatever. Crazy, I know, but it really hit home to me. And it really, it does feel like I'm accomplishing something, I'm creating order, and I feel better afterwards. So I thought that was funny. Chapter 10, plan and work diligently to maintain the romance in your relationship. So he delves into marriage and communication and how the two of you together can manage life and do better together than kind of like working against each other. One of the practical parts of this chapter too is he talks about like things that you do every day and if you can make a few of those interactions more pleasant, it's many hours of your life that's working in a positive way together as a couple. I thought that was interesting. So like the simple things like doing the dishes or um, greeting each other nicely, just really basic but doable. Chapter 11, do not allow yourself to become resentful, deceitful, or arrogant. There was a lot there. And I would say that he talks a lot about stories and there's eternal characters to the human drama, like the dragon, the virgin, the hero of the story. Like, as humans, we're attracted to stories and we learn from them. He shares about Pinocchio, Sleeping Beauty, mythological stories that we've all heard before and what we learn from them as a society. Rule 12 and the final chapter, be grateful in spite of your suffering. Jordan Peterson has some great YouTube videos and one of my favorites is the one on Dr. Oz interview and it says to become the re most reliable person at your father's funeral, which I think is like being strong and suffering. And it's just a very encouraging interview. All right, that's a wrap. I will put a link to that video hopefully at the end here. Well, thanks for watching you guys. That's everything on Beyond Order with Jordan Peterson. Happy reading, enjoy your week, and I'll see you next week, hopefully with a review on the mandibles.